Just to start us off, just uh, talk a little bit about um, the goals that we were able to score um, in tonight's match and what you're looking forward to in this upcoming weekend. Yeah, first of all, it's uh, always disappointing when uh, you're not able to uh, get points. Um, when uh, even at home, home and away, um, you always want to make sure that you have results that can continue to climb in the table. And and, uh, and unfortunately today, uh, we had a good opportunity to, to be able to get some points. Um, I think uh, we had stretches in the match in which we felt confident that we could have um, came out here from you know, this this field with uh, points. and. And uh, there's, there's still some things that, that need to be better. Uh, there's other things that have been very, very good. Um, score two goals uh, on set pieces. Um, unfortunately, uh, allow them to score two goals towards um, the end of the second, uh, the first half. Um, it looked like uh, the success that we had at the beginning, right uh, you know, until the, the point of that we scored the goal. Then it's kind of, you know, um, we felt too comfortable. We felt a little bit too um, uh, easy in some way that uh, we were managing well the game. And, and then uh, we started defending deeper. We started allowing them to be able to find more spaces. And, and uh, when you give them a little bit more time, uh, you know, to turn and to put crosses in, then uh, happens what, you know, what we saw that happen in, in those two goals that came uh, towards the end of the first half. Um, then we came back in the second half, we made some substitutions, so we, we brought in some energy, uh, trying to manage uh, the group uh, physically to make sure that we can endure uh, the game today, the, the past game and, and the game that is coming this weekend. Um, and uh, we felt that energy. Uh, we, uh, we were able to get back into the match to tie it. Uh, but I still think that we left the second half a little bit too open, too, you know, too, more, too transitional. Um, and uh, and uh, we got penalized with the, with a third goal. Uh, we had uh, opportunities also to be able to be a little bit better uh, at um, you know at going forward. Uh, but at the end, uh, you leave with the sour taste that we could have gotten more uh, from this field, and we didn't. So now we have to reflect again and. And continue to work. We have another difficult match on Sunday against a very good uh, Philly team at home, and we need to prepare for it. Thank you. We'll start with questions, and we'll start with Sam Spiller. Hi, Gio. Uh, tough result uh, tonight. Uh, would love to just hear your thoughts on uh, the second MLS game of uh, Nathan Pakasha. Um, looked like he kind of uh, faded a little bit in the second half, um, kind of got swallowed up by the center backs. Um, so what were your overall thoughts on his performance tonight? No, I thought he had good moments. I, I agree with you. I think, uh, you know, the, when you play on the weekend and you put so much work and, and also he was working very hard also this match with his movements, with his pressure, he got to a point in which he he, uh, he looked a little bit tired. That's why, uh, uh, you know, uh, he started uh, thinking a little bit more, you know, that his movements were not as uh, fluid as, as we wanted to, but... Uh, he still was dangerous, um, and um, that's what we put as Prilla, that's, that's what we put Seba, that's why, you know, we put Eric to be able to support him, uh, and we put a couple of players, you know, just to make sure that he can find a little more space. Um, Tega keeps on, uh, you know, evolving, and he's going to probably be able to get uh, a little more, a little, a little more minutes, you know, with the second team and be more available if we need him. Uh, but I thought that still Nathan, uh, you know, play, play a a decent match um, in this game was difficult. It was a tough match, and and I still think that he did some very good things in this game. Sam, did you have a follow up? Yeah, uh, just one more. Do you in the second half after um, Bill scored his goal? It, it really seemed like the game got very chippy. There were a lot of fouls, a lot of yellow cards shown. Do you think that played any factor into, like you said, kind of the game into the team maybe letting San Jose back into the game a little too much? The game getting a little too open. Yeah, I think uh, it became definitely a, a, a chippy game. Um, you know, uh, it became a little bit too transitional, you know, too much up and downs, too much spaces. Um, and, and, and I think uh, when you leave the game, you know, uh, that way to, to play, you know, uh, in that way, then uh, 
it, they can be very difficult moments uh, that you can have and you have to defend them. And, you know, and, and sometimes you're going to be caught up in, in, uh, in moments like that one. You know, the bounce was, uh, you know, uh, really bad and, and went to, you know, directly to the San Jose player for him to score. Um, it was right when we made the substitution um, because we needed to rest Chara um, also for yellow cards. So that's the other part also that we at least... Uh, can say that that's, that's a positive that Diego Chara and, uh, and uh, Paredes um, will be still available uh, for this weekend. Um, but uh, that's not the way we wanted to play the second half. Yes, we um, it created also good moments going forward because of that transition. But uh, you know the cheapness of the of the second half, you know, needs a, a group that has to have a little bit more maturity to manage it and control it with and without the ball.